Assalamu alaikum, I'm Dr. Fatima. So today's video is again a recall series based on pharmacology and these are posted on my Facebook group MRCPCH for beginners. So as you know, the pharmacology portion is so, so important, especially for the task exam. If you are going for the task exam, about 45 to 50 percentage of the questions, some of the other way are going to be related to pharmacology. So if you want to make sure that you're going to uh, pass in tasks, then you have to make sure that you're thorough, completely thorough in pharmacology, okay? So this week, our series was based on pharmacology. I have posted one or two questions of pharmacology already. Yesterday's question was, how many half-life cycles are required to eliminate 97% of a drug from the circulation, okay? And these are the options, two, four, five, three. So let's look at the explanation of this particular question. Okay, let us first study about what is actually the half-life, what is called the half-life of a drug. So basically, the half-life of a drug is the time taken by the drug to become half of its initial concentration in the body is known as half-life. So I'll just give an example. It's a very vague example that how much time can be taken by a drug to become an initial half of its initial concentration. For example, I'm taking about 500 milligram of uh, say ciprofloxacine. Okay. And the time taken by this 500 milligram to become 250 milligram, that is half of its initial concentration, that is known as the half-life. Okay, so for some drugs, it may be 10 minutes, some drugs, it may be an hour, some drugs, uh, 30 minutes. It's completely different for each of the drugs. It depends on the drug. Okay, so that means the time taken by ciprofloxacin to become 250, that is half of 500, half of its initial concentration, that is, if I take the example, say 10 minutes, is actually the half-life. Therefore, the half-life of ciprofloxacin is 10 minutes okay this is just an example all right now what is meant by the question that we have discussed here where they said that how much time or how many half-life cycles are required for a drug to eliminate 97 percentage of the drug from the circulation so to understand this question let us see this example okay i take the example of say uh, paracetamol a very common drug and just assume that the half-life of paracetamol, I'm assuming, okay, just for the explanation purpose, is 10 minutes. That means if I take 100 milligram of paracetamol now, say oral paracetamol, I'm taking 100 milligram of paracetamol, after 10 minutes, it's going to become half of its initial concentration, that is 50 milligram, right? Because the half-life of paracetamol is 10 minutes. So when we ingest 100 milligram of paracetamol, after the first half-life, that is the first 10 minutes, it's going to become 50 milligram, which is half of its initial concentration. So this is the first half-life. Now, after the second 10 minutes, that means after 20 minutes, it's going to become again half of this concentration. So this is the second half life. Half of 50 is 25 milligram. So at the end of the second half life, it becomes 25 milligram. Now, after the third 10 minutes, that means after 30 minutes, which is the third half life, the drug is going to become half of 25 milligram. Half of 25 milligram is about 12.5. That is, after the third half life, the drug becomes 12.5 milligram. After the fourth half life or 40 minutes, fourth half life, the drug becomes half of this concentration, which is 6.25 milligram. Right? And then, after the fifth half-life or after the next half-life, which is after 50 minutes, that is, we are going 10, 10, 10 minutes like that. After 50 minutes, that is, at the end of the fifth half-life, it's going to become about 3.1 something milligram. So if you consider from, I'll just zoom out and show you, see here. So if you consider we ingested about only 100 milligram of paracetamol, 
but it took us about five half lives one two three four five to get into three milligram that means it required about five half lives for the drug to become 97 percentage of its initial concentration how do i calculate 97 percent it is 100 minus 3 milligram so that is gives us 97 percentage so 97 percentage to eliminate 97 percentage of the drug my drug has to go through five half life cycles all right this is what they explain by the half life cycles i hope it is clear similarly if they say how much life or how many life cycles are required to eliminate 100 percent of a drug from the circulation in that case when you go for again further that's just a variation that i'm showing you say the next 10 minutes so it's going to become something like 1.5 milligram and then again it's going to become 1.5 0 0.75 so almost 100 percent to eliminate 100 percent of a drug it requires seven to eight cycles and to eliminate 97 percentage of the drug it takes about five half life cycles okay i hope this was helpful do let me know do give me your feedback and i'll see you guys next with another video thank you so much